Rise TV. I'm Nick. Um, I just wanted to take this opportunity to very quickly introduce you to the new uh, mini mixers from Enterprise. Uh, many of you will know that Enterprise have long done the, uh, the hugely successful original mixer, um, but there was a lot of call for a slightly smaller version, a sort of slightly more delicate presentation. Um, so Enterprise have worked very hard to create the mini mixer. Um, First off, they're incredibly lifelike. The, uh, they're much darker, obviously much smaller, hence the name Mini, um, and they really do mimic a, uh, a, a proper mixer straight out of the bag, so your free offerings. Um, there's a couple of real nice, unique little edges that Enterprise um, have added to the mixers as well, um, as they do with most of their baits. Um, the first is, you'll notice two different coloured um, sight stops, hair stops. Um, that come in the packet. You've got sort of a fluorescent yellow and a fluorescent pink. Um, and basically they're, they're designed to pull inside the mixer, so acting as a hair stop, but also very importantly giving you a sighter when your mixer's either out amongst a load of free offerings, so you need to pick your mixer out amongst a load of freebies, or when you're up against marginal cover, up against an island or a reed bed like I have been today, um, and you just need that little bit of cover just to identify your hook bait how many times I've turned around to, to pick up the catapult or say hello to someone walking past, turn back round and really struggle to pick my hook bait out amongst the freebies out in the lake. So this is a, a very easy way of identifying your bait. The carp don't see it because it pulls into the top of the mixer, it sits very flush on the top so it's not in the water, it's sitting on the top so it's only visible to you um, because obviously they're coming from underneath. Um, but it's, it's hugely, hugely useful. If you're a bit wary about adding any colour to your freebies, and obviously you don't have to use them, you can use a traditional hair stop or a uh, sort of a uh, extender stop and pull it inside um, the hook bait. But either way, it just gives you a, uh, a little bit of opportunity to tweak your hook bait to suit yourself. Each mixer has a pre-drilled borehole in the centre of the mixer, and that's basically just to house these extender stops. So if I put them down, I've grabbed the yellow here, the fluorescent yellow, and, and literally all you would do is tie a normal hair um, as you would normally. You just tie it slightly smaller so it's, it's almost too tight to the shank. And basically you pull your hair through as you would normally, hook the little bayonet hook which you'll see in the, on, the, on the bottom of the stop when you pick them up, hook it through the hair, and then it very simply pulls down and sits flush inside the hook bait like that. And as I say, the way it sits on the surface like that, as you'll see on the live footage from later, um, it's, it's brilliant for, for you identifying your hook bait. Enterprise haven't just left it there though. A lot of people obviously still prefer to side hook their baits. It's a devastating method and a lot of people, you know, rate it over hair rigging. So if you're that way inclined and you want to side hook it, at the bottom of the mixer, so the opposite side to the borehole, is a, a, slight, a slight little undulation. Um, a little tag sort of area which you can just tell but it's also sort of highlighted on the packaging um, and that's just for nicking your hook bait into. So you don't have to push it right through the mixer and close the gape of your hook. You just nick it through the little undulation on the bottom and, uh, and you've got the perfect presentation for side hooking. Another really, really good aspect of these mixers and something that I'm hugely impressed with and has made a massive difference to me already is how um, they're slightly less buoyant than a, than a normal imitation mixer. They still obviously sit up in the water, on the top of the surface layer of the water, but they don't sit sort of two thirds out, they sit sort of two thirds under the water, so you've just got the top showing. And basically that is how your mixers sit, your free offerings sit in the water. On top of that, when a fish approaches, especially a big fish, the vortex it creates as it approaches, the more buoyant and light the hook bait is, the harder it is basically for them to get hold of it because as their sort of bow wave from them approaching the bait approach, uh, uh, comes towards the mixer, the mixer drifts away from them. Because this sits lower in the water, that will still happen but nowhere near to the same extent as a piece of foam or a, or a really buoyant pop-up would. Um, so that's another really, really nice little, little addition and uh, a little innovation that Enterprise have added. Um, these are in the shops any day now, so in time for the summer 2013. Um, and they are definitely an edge for your surface fishing this year. So what I wanted to do was very quickly show you how I set up the mixer and how they sit on the hook. This is how they come, so you've got a selection of the, of the mini mixers um, and a selection of the two different coloured uh, sight stops, hair stops, as I say, in pink or yellow. As you can see, the hook bait sits perfectly with the sight stop on top. 
So in the water, it's sitting two thirds under and a third up. So all you see from your angle is the sight stop, whatever colour you choose, um, and all they see is, uh, is your normal hook bait, what looks like a normal hook bait. So it's just for your benefit really. As you can see, it pulls in very tight, very easy to take off. All you do is pull the extender stop so it's outside the mixer, unhook it from the hair, change colour, and you're away again. So that's the, the mini mixer from Enterprise. Very simple to use, ever so, ever so effective for, uh, for catching carp throughout the summer. Um, and these will definitely catch you more fish this year.